The Great Salt Lake is getting a little bit of help from its neighbor to the south. Yeah, Utah Lake is basically full, and to make room for more water, you have to let water out. New specialist Alex Cabrera was live at the Great Salt Lake this evening. And Alex, how much water are they talking about? Yeah, Dini, there is quite a bit of water on its way here right now to the Great Salt Lake from Utah Lake, but is it enough to affect the lake levels here? According to today's measurements, the Great Salt Lake was at about 4,193 feet in elevation, and while that's better than what we saw a couple of years ago, it's still about five feet below what's considered a healthy lake. However, news of any water coming here, it makes a lot of people happy. It sure is a lot of water. <coughs> Enough to convince Wade Tuft to talk on camera about it. Luckily, I'm the one that has the face for radio. He is the water supply manager for the Jordan Valley Water Conservancy District and was in a joking mood today after giving the go-ahead to start releasing water from Utah Lake. It's basically full, and after an amazing snowpack last year and a great one this year, room is needed for more water coming in. 2011 was the last time Utah Lake hit the, the full compromise level that we're at today. And because there's no need for irrigation this time of year, there's nothing stopping it all from flowing down the Jordan River. So everything that gets released should eventually get its way to the Great Salt Lake. That is great news for the Great Salt Lake. Anytime, especially right now, anytime we can get more water to the Great Salt Lake, it's, it's a good sign. But even at 300 million gallons of water a day, for a month, will that make a difference in Great Salt Lake levels? The reality of it is, is for the Great Salt Lake, it's not going to make much of an impact overall. Projections show the amount of water being released is equal to about 30,000 acre feet. The Great Salt Lake holds close to 14 million acre feet of water. So, yeah, in terms of an impact, it's not going to be huge, but every little bit helps at this point. It's why conservation efforts are still going to be important this year to help the Great Salt Lake as much as possible. We're all involved in this one way or the other. Now, the reason why Utah Lake is releasing water is because of a court order from the 1980s. It was back then when a lot of communities around Utah Lake were flooded because the lake was so full. To try and prevent that again, the court order says whenever the lake reaches a certain level, water has to be released. And with more water expected this coming spring with the nice snowpack, water managers figured now is a good time to do it. So Mike and Dini, even though the water levels here at the Great Salt Lake might not be affected all that much, again, any news for water coming here is good news. But back to you. Yeah, Alex, it sure is good news. Every little bit helps, like you said. Thanks.